What's the word, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sites, and I'm about to show y'all how to get better jewelry and after effects. You feel me? Let's get it. Alright, man. So first I'm gonna just show you how to make your diamond shine. Before you get started, I'm gonna need you to pre-comp all your clips because it's about to get real heavy today, you feel me? And once you do that, I'm gonna need you to jump into your first comp and just make an adjustment layer. And on that adjustment layer, I'm gonna just need you to throw S Glen up on there. And once you get in here, you could just click Edit Mocha. Once you get up in Mocha, I want you to grab the X Bond tool and just make a mask around the watch. Once you make that mask around the watch, you can just track it backwards, then track it forward, save it, and exit. Now you got some cool little rays coming out of the watch only. You feel what I'm saying? That's why we just use the mocha. Don't mind what you see going on right here. I was just playing around with stuff. But now I want you to come over to your settings. Boost the blur mocha, which is the mask to around 10. And then depending on how bright or dark your footage is, you play with the threshold, you play with the brightness, and you play with the blur glint as well to give you the effect you're seeking. You feel what I'm saying? Can't, I can't just give you my personal settings for this specific effect just for the simple fact that this is a video that I downloaded and I just made these settings but just know that these are the three main values that you play with to get the effect that you're looking for. Now that you do have that, look at how you want it to look. On that same adjustment layer, you can just add a film damage. Mine says flicker into focus because of my settings. You can copy these settings if you feel. But the main reason why I had you add this is because I want you to go and hit Mocha and then you're going to repeat the same process that you just, you know, did on that last effect up there at the top. You know what I mean? So once you finish that, you can save it and come out of here. Make sure to play with the blur Mocha value under the film damage. And then scroll down and change the C to about hmm, 0.3 however you feeling i'm also not liking how the blur looks so i just boosted it a lot and yeah it got rid of that nasty thing that was on the outside but moving forward now i want y'all to create a new solid and on that solid i want you to throw optical flares change your render mode to on transparent and then i want you to make a keyframe on the position x and y and then i want you to hit that target take that target and put it to just the top of the watch you should be on the first frame but if not just go to the first frame move the target again and then every three frames you could just move it to just track the movement keep it in position the way you've seen it in the first frame and you should be good then I want you to go back to the first frame and then just go to the scale and hit the stopwatch and bring it down to zero. Then jump a couple frames into the shot and just boost the scale up to like maybe 30%. Also play with the amount of brightness. Then I want you to go over to the ink dropper tool and just hit the brightest thing in the shot. Now you could go down to flicker and change the speed to 100, the amount to 100 and the type to sharp. Also you can go into the options and go grab you a dirty texture if you feel like the flare is too sharp you can just go into the effect controls and add a fast box blur you can change those values to about 0 0.3 maybe 3 and then just add a rsmb on top of that now i'm going to play with all of those values to just get exactly what i want out of this shot and then we're going to move on to the next effect for the second effect, I had to hop onto my other stream software just because I really wanted to uh, give y'all a little more in depth on how to do this. Somebody requested this, so let's get started. This 50 is just basically the same thing that I did to the last clip, but I'm just going to show you guys how to get the animation with the actual letters on the chain. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to clear out this composition. First thing you want to do is duplicate this as many times as you see letters. Three and I'm gonna rotoscope. Make sure you're in full so you can get the best results. All right, once that roto is complete, I just want you to freeze that. And once you freeze it, hit refine edge. And we're gonna disable to calculate edge details. And we're just gonna change the smooth to like 12 and the feather to like five. Then we're gonna pre-compose that layer. And just name it C, move all attributes and press okay. Then we're gonna take this hand behind tool, which is the anchor point. I'm gonna press P 
and hit the stopwatch. We're gonna hit A, hit the stopwatch. If you wanna see those keyframes, press U, and then let's just uh, make sure the anchor point is highlighted, and let's just start moving this, and make sure it's on the C. So let's go every three frames, and let's come to three. 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 So now I want you to take that process and just repeat it on the other two letters. Once you do that to the next two letters, just highlight me when y'all done. All right, so now that y'all got that, I'm just gonna take optical glow and slide it on here. I'm gonna have this amount at zero for the first frame. I'm up one frame, boost it to around 30% and up the size, pull a few keyframes down and bring the amount back down to zero. This is gonna change every time we put it on a different set of letters. We just basing this. So let's change the quality alpha mode. Let's press U on our keyboard and let's highlight those three keyframes and press F9. Let's come here. Uh, let's go into the value graph and let's ease this one out. If you feel like the flash is too short, you can just take this last keyframe and just drag it out. Hey, right, so now you can just take this optical glow and you can just let's just copy those. Paste. Paste. Press U on our keyboards. It's C E O. So the E comes up next, and then the O comes up later on. You feel what I'm saying? I can just open up the scale on these layers. And you want to make each one. We're gonna make one out of 100. One out of number above 100. Don't make it too big. You're gonna copy that keyframe, and then the last keyframe make it 100. Eat that up, you can highlight all of them and hold alt and drag backwards. And I believe you can copy these keyframes. Now, once you got your keyframes, easy ease those F9. Come in here and let's play with these bad boys. Ooh. If you feel like your glows are still too short, just hit you on the keyboard and let's extend those amount. Then we can enable motion blur on all three of these layers. And if you still feel like you need some blur, Just add RSMB. Well, that's how you do that. You feel what I'm saying? You could do this on a lot of different types of shots that contain jewelry, you feel me? But if you enjoyed this, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and just know I'm gonna be back tomorrow with another one, you feel me? Peace.